Okay, so here's a very specific video um, on how a brake adjuster on a drum brake car works, specifically a 1980s VW Vanagon. This is a brake adjuster. On a drum brake car, it looks like this. This one's fully reconditioned. I have a box full of these, if anyone ever needs one. This side comes off. There are no threads in there. That is just just a round thing. There's threads on here and they go to the end, but you never need that. You only need like this portion right here. This fits on like that, see? It goes right on. This gear, if we look closely at this gear, has a set of ratchet teeth. See that? They're at a little angle and a set of straight teeth. Those ratchet teeth catch on the cog wheel so that when this ratchet's open, it gets bigger, clicks in, but it can't go the other way. These teeth are for the brake, the manual adjustment of the brakes, which you can do through the backing plate on the back. So you pop the little plug off the back of your backing plate, you stick your screwdriver in there and you pull it this way. And as you do that, it's threading this out. It's making this rod longer. It's pushing this one out. See that? It's moving it that way. Now, this ratchet prevents you from going the other way. So you need to pull the little ratchety thing off and then spin it the other way. These are different one side to the other. This one's reverse threaded, so it's righty loosey, lefty tidy. I don't know which side this one goes on, but see, that would make it shorter. And then if I wanted to make it longer, I'd just turn it this way and it makes the whole thing longer, stretching this out. It's pushing this out, making the brakes further out. It's not that crazy. The big thing you wanna do is make sure you've got a big old glob of grease in here and on these threads, and also that you put anti-seize on these threads so that this will actually spin. This should spin at least that easily when it's off the car, because um, they do get tight. Now, the thing is, these brakes are self-adjusting. This seems like rocket surgery, but when the car is in reverse and you pull the parking brake, pulling the parking brake pulls the bottom of the shoes out, and as it does so, if the car is in reverse, it ratchets this out to as far as it can, and that sets those brakes. So if your brakes suck, drive your car in reverse and do like a, you know, like a turning around thing where you, a handbrake turn. Do one of those. Uh, well, don't pull it that hard, but do a couple in reverse stops and stops with the parking brake, and these will self-adjust and all will be well. The correct adjustment for when you do put these on is you wanna be able to put your brake drum on and if your brake drum goes on, this is too loose. So tighten it up a little bit, a couple clicks, put the brake drum on, keep doing that until the brake drum doesn't fit on, till you can't put the brake drum on. When you can't put the brake drum on, take it back like two clicks, like just the tiniest amount of clicks. Make sure that you, the ideal setting is when you can get the brake drum on, but just, you can just barely get the brake drum on. And then maybe even go in on the back and click it up a few. You ideally want it to be just starting to drag as your initial adjustment. Everything will sort of center up and whatnot, and then, you know, it'll wear in, but that's gonna be a nice happy starting point. If you get it there, things will be pretty good. Um, do a couple of your handbrake turns, assuming this is all lubricated and actually works properly, and assuming this is on correctly. Remember, this has a big side and a little side. Which orientation that is when you mount it matters, as well as this side has a tapered side and a square side. The orientation of that matters. Make sure you get those two things exactly correct. And make sure you have these on the right side, because if you put a left one on a right side and whatnot, it's not going to ratchet. It's just going to not work. Boy. I didn't think I would talk for four and a half minutes about brake adjusters on 1980s VW Vanagons, but, but I did. Thanks for listening. I hope that was useful.